How's it going everyone? Chris here and welcome back to another Nintendo E3 leak discussion video. In today's video, we are actually going to be taking a look at an extremely piece of new news that actually just recently came out because there is a credible leaker on Twitter named Sabi who has actually leaked a bunch of information from Nintendo before and Nintendo is actually threatening to press charges against him and they sent him a cease and desist letter. So we're going to be talking about that as well as everything else that this leaker has said before. Now, usually this is the part where I would say to take all of this information with a grain of salt. However, considering Nintendo is threatening to sue this person by sending them a cease and desist, that means that this guy actually does have credible information, so you guys do not have to take this with a grain of salt today. However guys, with all of that being said, I have to tell you guys where this leak came from. So guys, this leak was sent in to me by one of my subscribers on my Discord server, so if you guys haven't already joined up, you can find a link to my Discord as well as links to all of my other social media presences, such as my Twitter and Patreon in the description bar down below, as well as the pinned comment. Also guys, do you want the chance to win a Nintendo eShop gift card? Because if so, all you guys gotta do is go to the description and check out my girlfriend Rebecca's channel. Once she hits 1000 subscribers, we are going to be doing an eShop gift card giveaway and the only way that you guys can enter is if you are subscribed to both channels, so make sure you guys hit that subscribe button here and hit it on her channel. However guys, with all of that being said, that is not what today's video is about, so today we are going to be taking a look at a post from Kotaku.com and it is just a bunch of text information, but once again guys, this leaker on Twitter actually has some credibility behind him, which is why I figured we should go ahead and talk about it before E3 tomorrow. So with all of that being said guys, let's go ahead and take a look at this brand new post. So guys, like I said, this information comes from Kotaku.com and it is titled, Twitter user who leaked most E3 announcements says Nintendo's lawyer called them. It starts by saying, after promising early and unreleased information about Nintendo's E3 reveals on Twitter this weekend, an account that's been leaking the rest of this week's announcements says they received a call and email from Nintendo asking them to stop. The leaker, who goes by Sabi, has been posting detail after detail for each E3 press conference, starting with Microsoft and Bethesda yesterday, and then Ubisoft and Square Enix today. All of their tweets have proven to be correct so far, from specific game modes like Doom Eternal's multiplayer, to big broad reveals like Microsoft's Project Scarlet being capable of 120 FPS. The only conference that's been spared so far is Tuesday's Nintendo Direct. It's sounding like I and a few others may just learn about everything in the E3 Nintendo Direct a day beforehand, Sabi wrote on Twitter late last month. Sabi is referring to tomorrow's press conference in which Nintendo is expected to reveal details about much anticipated games like Animal Crossing and Link's Awakening. On Saturday, Sabi followed up with those hungry fans who were demanding to know about Nintendo's plans now. Cool it. Cool it guys. Remember, I didn't say all the Nintendo info would be tonight for sure, just that it'll happen by Monday night at the latest, likely before then. However, there's a lot of non-Nintendo stuff coming very soon. Yesterday, however, Sabi says they hit a snag. I got a call from a cell phone number and it was really muffled, Sabi told Kotaku over Discord. Some old guy saying Nintendo is aware of my activities and that if I continue with my threats, they would pursue legal actions. Sabi agreed not to leak Nintendo's announcements and later, Sabi said that old guy followed up with an email which they briefly posted on Twitter before deleting, then forwarding to Kotaku. It read, Misappropriation of Nintendo Trade Secrets. In the Twitter post, Sabi left the lawyer's name and phone number, a Google search indicates that the lawyer has previously worked with Nintendo. The email read, as discussed, Nintendo is aware of your online activities, including on Twitter and Discord, relating to the disclosure of confidential information regarding Nintendo's games. Also, it is aware of your plans for further disclose such information in advance of E3. Nintendo considers your activities to be a misappropriation of its trade secrets. If you continue to disclose such information or follow through on your plans regarding E3 information, Nintendo will look at all of its legal options, including commencing legal proceedings against you. Sabi is surprised that it was Nintendo who contacted them. I've actually leaked very littles of there yet, 
they said, despite branding themselves on Twitter as a popular leaker in the Smash Bros. and Reset Era Nintendo communities. What was more surprising is that the lawyer even tracked them down. Sabi says they're not currently living in the country where they have citizenship and received the call on a house phone where they're staying, one with no connection to them. It was really creepy, they said. Neither the lawyer nor Nintendo responded to Kotaku's request for the comments. The big lingering question is how someone might have gotten access to all these E3 press conferences before they'd started. Sabi even wrote on Twitter that Keanu Reeves would be in Cyberpunk 2077 before developer CD Projekt Red made that surprise announcement on Microsoft's stage. When asked, Sabi told Kotaku that it all comes from a single source, one they don't talk to directly but only secondhand, and that the source in this inst instance I've only known for a few weeks. It's not clear whether this information is being obtained through website hacking or other illegal means. As for the Nintendo leaks, Sabi is confident they'll still filter out. Their source, they say, leaks through other people as well, so it won't really change much. So now that we've gone over the entire post, let's talk about it a little bit. So guys, a couple of things that I want to say about this before we start talking about what Sabi has leaked before is that this is an extremely strange situation. Now granted, we have heard about Nintendo going after people like this before. I mean, obviously, we've heard about them go after the people who were leaking ROMs on online, and we've heard about them going after people who've been leaking stuff before, but this is the first instance, at least I've heard of them, going after someone like Sabi, who isn't like the biggest leaker ever. I mean, Vergaben was plastered all over the internet, and he still got away with leaking a bunch of stuff about Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, so why are they going after this Sabi guy? Like, it doesn't seem to make a lot of sense. Which begs the question, like, is this guy truly 100% credible? And the answer to that is, yeah, he definitely is. I mean, when you look at it like this, like, Nintendo didn't go after Vergaben, who was leaking a bunch of stuff about Smash Ultimate, because he got a bunch of stuff wrong, whereas Sabi has only gotten a few things wrong, or maybe even none. Like, I haven't dug that much into Sabi quite yet, but to my knowledge, he hasn't gotten a single thing wrong, proving that he is a credible leaker, and Nintendo is actually afraid of him. So guys, if you want more information on this Sabi guy, I'm going to go ahead and leave a link to his Twitter in the description bar, so that way you guys can go and read everything about him. Now, obviously, I don't think he's going to respond to personal DMs or anything like that, but I think I am also going to try and reach out to him and talk to him just because I think it'd be pretty interesting. However, guys, with that being said, just go ahead and give him a follow, and there you can read about everything that's been happening from his perspective. Now, in terms of what Sabi has actually leaked correctly, apparently, he's gotten some stuff about Pokemon Sword and Shield correct, which, for those of you guys who don't know, especially in the Pokemon leak world, like, it is almost impossible to find a real Pokemon leak. Yeah, every once in a while we have one or two that pop up, but other than that, like, Pokemon is extremely protective over everything, and they really go after people, so it's hard to find real leaks with Pokemon, and yet this guy predicted a lot of stuff correct. Now, once again, if you guys want to find out exactly what he predicted, go check out his Twitter, read through it, because there's a lot of interesting information there. So after I got sent this link on Discord, I asked the person who sent this to me what else that Sabi got right, and I never got a response back, so I just started to do some digging. Now apparently, and let me just say apparently, I did not see it firsthand, so I cannot confirm that this is the truth, but apparently, Sabi had started leaking very little details about Nintendo Z3. Apparently he said that we were going to be getting some version of Skyrim on the Nintendo Switch, uh, we were going to be seeing two new Smash Ultimate characters tomorrow, and a couple of other things that weren't super important, but he was stopped because, like, Nintendo caught wind of that, and they were like, this guy has real information, he needs to be stopped right now, so that is why we don't have that much information from him. Now, if you guys know any information about Sabi that I'm not going to be covering in this video, because once again, a lot of this stuff got deleted and is, I haven't been able to find please let me know in the comment section down below because this is an extremely interesting story. However, guys, with all of that being said, I just have to say that this situation is absolutely crazy. I mean, the Nintendo people were able to find this guy while he wasn't even living at home, and they were able to figure out who he was and everything else like that, and that's just absolutely insane. So the message that I am getting from this is to never cross Nintendo, and Nintendo, if you're listening, I promise I'm never going to cross you, so please don't send the ninjas after me. Anyways, guys, with all of that being said, please let me know your thoughts about this leak and this whole situation in the comment section down below. Once again, this is extremely crazy, but it's not something that's super unheard of, so, I mean, it happens. 
I just wonder what's going to end up happening next. I'll keep you guys updated with the story as some as new developments come out. Wow, I sound like a news anchor right now, but <laughs> that's not my intention. Anyways, guys, with all that being said, thank you guys all so much for watching today. Have a great rest of your day, and I will see you guys next time. Take care. Also, make sure to subscribe, share, and like. Can't believe I forgot that. <laughs> Bye, guys.